Well, I'm here this morning to uh, you know, have an opportunity to see how our operations center at Joint Task Force East is set up and, and running. The end state of this is to show you how we're feeding our cop and how we're managing that, but we'll take you through some of the assets that we have available. Starting on the far, uh, far right, um, on that screen we've got the, uh, the real-time uh, joint force array uh, to include forces available and forces employed, uh, so the commander can always track what, he's, what assets he's got out and available. Uh, moving to the left, uh, we've got our, our weather to include uh, road closures, our, our scrolling flood data, the one in the center that's updated every three hours. Information as of 0700 right now, but if we need actual real-time reporting, it's, it's available on that screen. With some help from our High Speed 6 over here, we created a SharePoint. Sir, um, I get all my information pushed from uh, Sergeant Major uh, about RCP locations, QRF locations, TCP locations, anything that wants to be displayed on Mapper, he sends to me. Um, and then with ArcGIS, I update that, plot the points, then I take that information, send it out to Valerie Hansen in Bismarck, and then she updates Mapper all within 15 to 20 minutes. So tell me what we got up here right now. Right now, these are all the locations that we have out in Fargo. Example of the Wapaton issue that we had yesterday, we can zoom right to the location of where it had happened and talk to the troops on the ground. Uh, what I've seen is, is uh, use of great technology uh, by our soldiers and airmen. Uh, two in particular uh, are Sergeant Seiko and Sergeant Valenti. Uh, they're the ones that put a lot of this together that allow our people in the operations center to see in a real-time setting you know, what's going on out there, where our people are, uh, what the missions are and what the status and progress is, uh, what the flood flows are, what the likely areas of flooding would be if there were a breach, a uh, breach in the levee. It's really amazing. The use of technology today helps us do our job much, much better than we have in the past. As I've said uh, in the past, uh, you know, the good news is we've got a lot of experience. The bad news is we've had a lot of experience. For the North Dakota National Guard, uh, this is the third year in a row that we've been involved in a flood fight here in the Red River Valley. And we've learned lessons from 2009 and 2010, and we've, you know, we've made adjustments, uh, course corrections, if you will, in how we do business uh, based on our past experience. And it's been, it's been fantastic, it really pays off. Uh, what we have here are probably uh, three dozen of our soldiers and airmen that you know, each knows exactly what their role is in this flood fight. Uh, each knows how to coordinate activities uh, with others that are engaged in the operations center. And they all know how to communicate with not only one another here in the operations center, but obviously uh, people in the field, uh, local authorities, civilian authorities. And that's how we get the job done. That's how we provide for protection uh, for the people of North Dakota. Uh, in this case, the people of Eastern North Dakota, and uh, and the fact is, our folks do a great job, and it's it's very uh, it's very heartwarming just to see uh, the level of engagement, involvement, uh, and the commitment on the part of our people to protect lives and property in North Dakota. Now, leading up to this, uh, we did a lot of preparation, uh, we did a lot of uh, uh, exercising uh, to uh, make sure that you know that things were functioning properly, and that if any mistakes were going to be made, they were made beforehand in the exercise versus here today in a real-time situation. And that's huge, that pays off. And, and I can see it here when I walked in the room, it was very clear and evident to me that people knew exactly what needed to be done to fight this flood, which is in all likelihood gonna be one of the top three on record uh, to fight this flood and, and to protect property and protect lives and, you know, and do what one of our missions is, that is the Homeland Defense mission for the people of North Dakota. Oh, this is amazing, didn't expect this. <laughs> Oh, we, I think we have the best, the best, best help in the United States right now. Wow, I got a little lump in my throat when they're driving up. <laughs>